So I've been wondering, do you think Bob Ross ever painted with POR 15? Hmm. Welcome back. Today I'm very excited because I'm gonna show you something that you've never seen before on television. Today we're gonna to start with a white canvas and we're gonna use some magic black on it. So I'm gonna let you see me cover the canvas. And this is magic black here. We'll just cover the entire canvas and go all the way across. And there we go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're working back on the 52 Chevy. In the previous video, we actually got the floor completely degreased and metal etched, prepping us for today's video where we're gonna seam seal and POR 15 the entire floor of the truck. So for the seam sealer, I went to the AutoZone and picked up some Dynatron gray seam sealer. It was pretty cheap, it was like $14.99 for the tube. We're gonna take that seam sealer and we're gonna smear it all over the welds and the seams inside the cab just to make sure everything's nice and watertight. So after everything's been seam sealed in the truck, we're gonna let that dry for a couple hours. Then we're gonna break out the POR 15 and we're gonna coat the entire floor of the cab with this paint right here. So let's get everything ready to seam seal right now. Let's do it. So to do the seam sealing process, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is throw your seam sealer in a caulking gun. This is just your typical caulking gun I picked up at the Home Depots. And what I'm really focusing on right now is you see these welds, they don't look the best. You're not really gonna see them too much, but I'm just gonna put a layer of seam sealer right along here just to try to soften the weld up all along the edges here, all along the front floor, probably around the entire inside and outside of this seat riser here, around any weld marks or holes that I covered up around the old gas tank strap that I wasn't able to get. I'm just gonna soften that edge up a little bit. Any floors in here, definitely along the kick panel here, up here on the kick panel. Seam seal all the edges, a little bit over a couple of my welds, might not be absolutely perfect, but I wanna make sure everything's nice and sealed up the best that we can. So I've got two methods to possibly do this. One, we just, you know, squirt this down here with the caulk gun and then you just take your finger. In here I have a little bit of the degreaser, maybe put a little degreaser on my finger to add a little bit of lube and just kind of like swipe over it real quick. Done. The other method would be if I'm doing like a bigger joint, you could use your finger like, or you could take the little bristle brush here, dip it in a little bit of the degreaser and just kind of go over it like this and that should give you a nice smooth finish as well. So we're gonna try both methods right now and try to seam seal everything up in here the best we can. After that's done, the tube says let it dry for 30 minutes. We'll probably go, you know, do something else while it's drying. Then we'll come back out here with the PR15 and paint everything. It'll be all nicely black and shiny when we're done. I'm gonna start in the centers here, get these done. Any spots that I've kind of fixed, just to see how this is actually gonna go, because I haven't done this before. I'm just curious to see how this stuff actually flows out and stuff like that. So around here we want to make sure that's all seamed up nice and neat. So we'll try the finger method first here. Just you know, swipe it around like that. You can smooth it out the best you can, just like that. Now that was without using any degreaser on my finger. Got a little spot here we're gonna to touch up. It actually came out really well. I put a little degreaser on my finger. It helps too. Yeah, that works. But once I flow it out like this, you kind of just want to leave it. You don't want to keep messing with it. Just like that. I'm going to leave that alone. That's good. We're just going to keep going around the entire floor. So the last little section we have to do 
for the back section is right along here, this weld you'll probably see. Then we'll just touch up down along here and along the back rail there. And then we'll move forward in the truck. So let's run a nice bead down along here and get that clean. All right, so this whole section back here has all been seam sealed all along the back wall, over the brackets we removed, around these back brackets, around the outside and inside of the seat riser. So now we're gonna move forward and tackle this section right here along the kick panel, around these side panels, down here, along here, up here, along this section here. Then that will put us in a really good position. We'll let this all dry, we'll come back and paint everything. All right, so right now we've got everything seam sealed all the way around, around everything. Everything's nicely sealed up. So we need to let this seam sealer dry. You can see we've got the kick panel all nicely sealed up, top and bottom. Smoothed out the best we can. Seam sealed all the way down the front of the seat riser. A couple of the spots we patched in the floor. We seam sealed along here just to make this, the weld look a little bit smoother than it really is. We seam sealed here where the two floors meet. Went through the back, seam sealed up everything. Some cosmetics, some actually, because we do want to actually keep it protected from leaking. So right now we're just gonna let this dry for a few hours and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna actually start painting. So we're to the point now we're getting ready to finish prep for paint right now. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna wrap these seat studs. These are the ones that get bolted down into place here. And I wanna kinda of just set them into place but I'm gonna make sure I tape up because I don't wanna get paint inside there so I have to retap everything because this stuff does stick like crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the majority of the studs with painter's tape right here. Just wrap the stud and then it's gonna place these into place here. So if I do get paint in there, it's not gonna get into the the threads of the nut. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape off the door jam here just so when we paint over the edge here it's only going down so far we're not going down farther than we really want to just yet because we will eventually paint this all but there's a lip that comes around here that you put on for a door sill. So that's what we're gonna work on right now is we're gonna do the studs, tape off the door jams, and then we're gonna get to painting. <laughs> Everything is ready to paint inside the cab. All of the seam sealer is nice and dry right now. So what we're gonna start mixing up the paint. And I'm probably gonna start painting here on the inner kick panels, just so if I have to lay in here, I can to get in there and paint that nice and neat. Then we'll probably start up here, maybe do this section, come back here and do this section. Doing here is probably gonna take the longest because you have to get up underneath and around and up and under and all this, all, do, 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 do. all around in here, up there, down there, all around. That's probably gonna take the longest. So we'll probably do back here, up here, in here and then maybe finish off here that should go a lot faster so let's get the paint mixed up right now so right here I have the POR 15 that we're using it's a gloss black I've got a paint stick to stir that up I've got the paint lid remover and I've got gloves make sure you wear gloves when you put this stuff on because it does not want to come off your skin to apply it to the sides and the floor of the truck I picked up some foam brushes I've had good luck using foam brushes applying POR 15 in the past so we're gonna go back to using those it applies a nice even finish no bristle marks and it should lay out nice and neat. Here's our paint lid opener, tool doohickey mabobber here. Now that we've got this all nicely mixed up, we're just gonna take our foam brush and just kind of wipe off the paint stick. This is very thin paint, but the coverage on this stuff is pretty amazing. Put that in the box, put this in the truck. So we're just gonna start painting this section right here.
All right, so right now we just need to paint this section of the floor, the main part where your feet go. Shifter is there. So I just need to start painting on this side, paint over halfway, come over here and finish painting this way. And the entire floor will at least have one coat of POR 15 on it, which should be plenty for right now. If we want to do a coat later, we might do a whole nother coat. But then again, this whole thing is going to be covered with sound deadening. So probably not really needed. We just really wanted to seal up all this metal in here just to keep it from rusting in the future. And right now we've got a great base with this one layer of POR 15. So I think we're gonna be very good. There we go, entire floor, 100% painted. Bing! Okay, so right now that we've got the entire floor painted in the cab, I'm gonna remove the tape because we don't want the tape on there when the paint's drying. I'm also gonna take out the seat studs to get those out of the way too so everything can dry fully without anything binding up with the paint. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to seal up the paint can. You don't just wanna put the paint lid right back on because there's a bunch of paint up in the lid. I've tried to sweep it out and clean it out the best I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some saran wrap or cellophane wrap, whatever you wanna call it. I kind of just double it up a little bit here. I just put this right over top of the, the lid. So this kind of acts as a protective barrier between the actual lid, something like that. And you take your lid, put it right over there like this. And then if you do have some paint left over in there, you don't want to splash around, take a bag or something, put it over top of the can and then start hammering the lid down, just tap it in place. Here we go, so we'll just set this on the shelf and use this again later. All right, everyone, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. As you can see, we got the cab for 100% seam sealed and painted with a nice coat of POR 15. Coming up in a future video, we're gonna put the door back on the driver's side. We're gonna work on the Altman latches. We're gonna do power windows on both the driver's side and the passenger side. So as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Smash that big red subscribe button. Smash that bell icon so you know when I do post future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.